tools. We all need them, but what's the best ones to get? I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm still continuing work on the 351 Cleveland. I got all the pistons knocked out of it and, well, I hit a roadblock because this stupid mid plate here is blocking the crank from coming out. So I have to take it off the engine stand, remove the backing plate, and put it back on the engine stand to get the crankshaft out, right? Or well, the crankshaft will be out and then put the end. You get what I mean. It, it's a debacle. Any who's though. I was watching some of your guys' videos, you know, guys who comment on mine. It's only fair, right, to watch yours. And the Junkyard Necromancer made a couple of series of videos about trying to find the best tools, right? Best quality tools. So I figure I'd weigh my opinion in on it because, frankly, the criteria he's looking for is actually good advice. And the criteria I'm looking for is, well, less than great. So basically, the best tools that I have are the ones that I don't give a sh crap about. Now what do I mean by that? Taking the pistons out of here, I was using this, put that on the piston, and start whapping this with the ball-peen hammer to get the pistons out. I, I don't, everything on this block is going to be new, so I don't care about the old stuff at all. And as a result, this is kind of what happened to the wrench, right? got all ballooned out whatnot now if this was a really quality tool you'd feel bad about it but seeing as it's not i don't and i was able to get the job done that much easier because of it when i had the cutlass with the 406 small block chevy in it and the headers the headers made it to where number five was impossible to get the spark plug out of with a normal socket so i just took my five fates and i cut a giant hole in the side of it on the bench grinder that way i could get to the spark plug this was good set of tools high quality nice brand i'd feel really bad about doing that but i didn't because this is just some off generic brand lying around the toolbox i probably have five or six of these things so i just grab one modify it so i can get the job done now, obviously, I'm not going to leave the tool like this because, well, frankly, it would be really annoying every time I get cut or scraped on this ballooned edge. So you just fix it. And there we go. Just two seconds and brand new. Look at that. You can't even tell, right? So, you know, that's my take on it. I want things that I'm not afraid to beat up because tools are, well, tools. They're, they're meant to be used. And sometimes in not the ways they were designed to be used. So uh, check out the Junkyard Necromancer's channel. I'll put a link into it in the description here. And uh, I'll catch you next time.